welcome, 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 welcome. Uh, this is the Effing Friday stream on an Effing Boxing Day. Can you believe it? Boxing Day already. The big day is over with. The jolly fat man has gone back to Lapland, put his feet up for another year. He's <laughs> he's chilling out. He's relaxing. He's done his job and earned his milk and cookies and his rest. So well done, well done. Right, I hope that everyone had a fantastic Christmas yesterday. I hope that you all uh, ate, drank, and be merry uh, and had a wonderful time with your family. Let's get into the game. So, uh, yesterday, what did we do? What happened yesterday? Thank you. Um, so, what happened yesterday? We went all the way to the Guardian site. We picked up the blueprint, which we thought we only needed one of. Um, and we did, however, there were some Guardian technology components that we didn't get. Ah, uh, so... Ready to go. Unfortunately for us, we've had to come all the way back out here. We were met, met up with Old Guy Gamer, who was having some SRV issues yesterday. Um, and we were... Um, we were hunting around and... Uh, throwing the whole thing again, which we did. We still don't have enough technology components, and I was hoping to be able to um, do this. And I'm playing this in the dark as well. Um, I was hoping to be able to, to do this a bit offline, but I ran out of time yesterday, so I've not been able to do this. So we're going to have to do a couple more of these Guardian Ruins runs, and we'll get a couple more blueprints out of it for, you know, for the giggles of it. Why not? Um, so we'll do that. We'll get the Guardian blueprints. Um, we'll get back to civilization. Go and get the AX Gauss Cannons, which is what I'm here for. Um, uh, by getting them from the Guardian Technology Broker, we'll get the AX Cannons. Then we'll get back, we'll carry on building the Chieftain. And then for the first time ever, Friday is going to go and attack some Fargoids. Now, I've never done that before. I'm quite passive when it comes to the Fargoids. Only because the Fargoids have never done anything to me. They've scanned me, okay, my systems have come back offline. they come back online. And I flew away, and there's never been any harm. So, me actually going at them, it feels a bit weird. Feels a bit weird. Right, so there's our guardian structure on the opposite side of there. Excellent. Right, so first thing we need to do is get back into Super Cruise. Okay, so when you arrive at these guardian sites, um, we need to use our ship. Even though we're going to be in the SRV, we need to use our ship. Okay. Um, so... What happens is, is when you when you do this guardian run, and you'll see shortly uh, as I go around and do it, um, effectively there is a big machine that you're going to, uh, an orb is going to come out of, and you're going to need to scan the orb. Now, if I come down here, let's slow us right down. Um, yeah, not stop. Let's slow down, not stop. So, uh, there's the machine, just off to my left. Okay. So let's get a bit closer. So when this machine um, fires up, uh, an orb is going to come out of it. And the orb is going to um, be sitting there and I'm going to scan the orb. But when I do this, what also happens is some guardian sentin sentinels are going to come out. Some guardian sentinels are going to come out and they're going to try and attack me. Um, because they're here to protect it. Let's put the landing gear out. Um, they're here to protect it. I'm just going to raise up a little bit, give myself some clearance. Uh, and so, what will happen is, is they can hide behind the Guardian structure. Uh, and what they can do is they can go ahead and fire missiles at me. From behind the Guardian structure, which is off to my left there. So, uh, what I do is I park this here. And you can see here, just on my hood point defense my point defense is actually a thing that will fire at missiles okay it's like a machine gun that fires at missiles so that's going to be firing at those missiles that they are going to launch keeping me safe and that's what i want right okay uh, i'm not going to walk we need the srv for this one down we go all 
Lights go no off. Okay, right. I need uh, night vision. Much better. Now I can see. Right. So now that we've landed here, what we got to do is <coughs> that triangular structure that's on the floor, right in front of us, is a little triangular structure. Okay, just below my reticle right now. That something's going to come out of there in just a second. As we head towards it, you'll hear it. Here she comes. There's also one on the other side as well. Okay, these are guardian structures that we need to actually um, shoot at a bit later on. This is the machine where the orb is going to come out of. Okay. Uh, and here's the one just on the other side of that machine as well. So we'll need to shoot at that as well later on okay there is another one down there to my left we will come back to but there's also one over here so let's go and grab the one over here because this one is also going to spawn a guardian sentinel so you'll see the guardian sentinel very very shortly pop out of the ground these things have been buried because no one's been here for thousands and tens of thousands hundreds of thousands of years um so these things have made these things now buried but as i get close and activate them there you go. So, it's spawned now. There it is. That's a Guardian Sentinel. Target destroyed. As you can see, not too much hassle for me to destroy that target. Now, I do want to collect up what he's dropping here. Wreckage components, so I'm going to open my cargo scoop. Now, these are materials, so they don't go in the cargo hold. They seem to go into some infinite space where materials go to don't seem to it does get full but there is quite a guardian sentinel weapon parts so yeah we'll have some of them now even if you don't need these for your current mission i implore you pick these up for the love of god pick these up power conduit i've already got too many of them so it is full no now we're still we came here to get the obelisk out the ground and here it is triangle one just in front Now, that's pretty good going. I like that. The sound of that was amazing. Right. And then down here. Down here. This is a ra arisen from the ground as well. And we need this. We need the ancient relic that's just inside there. Okay. So, inside this structure. So, what you can do is you can... Well, apparently not. Why can't I fire these? Oh, that one's bugged, man. You can shoot at these. Why? Why is that not working? You can shoot at these and the glowy things inside, they drop to the floor. But not today, apparently. Alright then, my Friday peeps. Unfortunately, this site is actually bugged. Uh, none of those ancient relics were being able to be shot out. Now, effectively, at the top of that tower, uh, you can see there, there is that glowing uh, cylinder in the middle. That's an ancient relic, and basically, you fire at that uh, with your SRV. Uh, the sides come off, revealing the ancient relic, uh, and you can fire at the ancient relic, and it topples from the top, and you can pick it up in your SRV. Now, you will need this later on. As you go to the machine, there is a big X straight in front of the machine, uh, and basically, you just drop that ancient relic right in the middle of that x there is a little uh, circular hole for it to go into uh, and so you drop that straight in there that kick starts the machine that starts the machine up and starts it going and the orb will then rise up and you'll be able to scan the orb as it spins um, and uh, that is how you will get your blueprints okay so you see here i'm uh, attacking uh, some of the uh, the guardians sentinels that are just around Obviously, because um, the sedimentary build up over the time, they're, they're underneath the ground, so you don't know where they are until you come close to them and they activate and they start coming back up and attacking you. 
again. So at this point, it's a real showstopper. I, I'm literally I can't get I can't get it every time I fire. I can I can see my bullets hitting uh, all the way up the ancient uh, relic there, but unfortunately, when you hit the top of that ancient relic, the bullets just don't seem to register. So nothing happened so i do need to drive around and uh, get all of them out of uh, out of the and i've tried every single one that i could find none of them worked <coughs> excuse me at all um so we were really struggling with that now luckily for me i had one actually on board my asp so my asp explorer and there we go another sentinel uh just attacking that one uh, that was very strange actually because it flew right over the top of me and it forced my turret um to stow itself so i couldn't really um couldn't do anything about it i had to wait for it, the sentinel to back off to uh, get back into my turret again and fire at it um so luckily anyway the ancient relic i have i happen to have one from um the last time i was out here it's actually in my cargo hold uh, uh, underneath the ship so um and i haven't played lead in a while so uh, it was very difficult for me to actually um remember to um how to transfer around the um uh, the, the, the cargo between the SRV and the ship. So, thank you to my chat uh, and the FM Friday members. Um, they've managed to guide me and help me transfer um, the um, items from the ship onto the SRV, which allow me to actually kickstart the machine and get the machine running. And without them, I would be done for. So, you see here, <coughs> I'm going back inside the ship. Um, and I'm just trying to work out how to transfer that Guardian Relic back into my SRV. Thank you to my chat. You're all awesome. Love you all. So, managed to do that. Uh, and next we're going to go off um, back in our SRV. And we're actually going to start um, activating the machine. Now, it's not just a case of placing that Ancient Relic in that X. Um, that's what uh, you do at a, at a, as a final task. The first task you've got to do is actually go around and fire at each one of these uh, obelisks that have appeared with the uh, blue light in the middle. So you've actually got to fire your SRV into them and it will actually activate and then give you a countdown timer. Uh, and so now you'll be able to see uh, exactly how to do that as we run through that stage of the process right now. So like yesterday, no reason not to stream and today again i'm still isolating still no reason not to stream so hence why i'm here all right let's see if this works yeah okay just double checking just double checking uh right so yeah, I was. Uh, thank you, mate. I appreciate that. Um, I hope to recover soon as well, um, because I very much am looking forward to having my boys. And uh, I miss my girlfriend. My girlfriend was away like the week before I caught COVID as well. So um, until the other day, and she came and sat outside my door and um, uh, and talked to me uh, from her car. Yeah, uh, I hadn't I hadn't seen her, so I've only seen her once in probably about two to three weeks. Um, so I'm very much looking forward to seeing her and her family again um, soon, but we'll have to wait and wait and find out till that happens. Anyway, enough of me. How have you guys been? How's your Christmas has been? Hopefully all well. What did you get up to? Did Santa buy you anything nice? Oh, some tacit art, honestly, mate. Uh, it, it, I'm not a person for sitting around and not doing anything. Uh, so this is kind of driving me insane. How did you cope? How did you cope? How was it for you as well? I mean, like some people, it's really done a number on, um, and, and they really suffered. I've got to be honest with you. I feel really lucky. I haven't, I haven't hardly suffered at all. Um, I haven't. Um, I mean, I, <coughs> apart from a little bit of a cough, I feel great. I feel fine. Um, reversing at high speed. Um, I feel fine. 
Um, you know, I've got a bit of a cough, but I don't feel bad bad. I had like one day where I felt really rubbish. Um, but I'm not, I feel fine and I feel really bad for the people who have had COVID and like, you know, they've been bedridden, couldn't get out of bed. And obviously, you know, this has been a killer. So let's, let's not be frank about it. Um, so I feel really lucky. <laughs> really, really lucky. Um, <coughs> and I don't know what the rhyme or reason is, whether I'm triple jabbed and that's made it easier on me, I don't know, but... Yeah, I think I'm at that kind of, uh... I think I'm at that kind of, um, thing where I'm, um... Just got that tickly cough that they won't ship very easily. Uh, right, there's one more. I've missed one somewhere. There's one more. I don't remember where it is. I have missed one, and I don't remember where you are. Uh, so I started with the one on the right, and I've done the one on the left, and I've done the two in the middle, and done the ones in the middle middle. Let's just go around the outside. So I feel like it's around here or around the bottom of the site. There's one more I haven't found. I always forget this one. Just cut through. That's the one in the middle, so I've done that one. So we're all good. Yeah, I think you could be right there. I think you could be right. Like, um, not be not be as strong, but um, but mutate quite a lot. There we go. Uh, uh, no, that's one of them. I don't want one of them, I want the other thing. And I don't know where it is. And I got 10 minutes to find it. So like challenge Annika for those in the UK that can remember that. Uh, it's not there. Let's just make sure it's definitely not over here. Uh, I can't remember where it is. You're gathering maths to engineer. I, I've, well, I have a, I have a crate. There it is. This is the one. One. I have a crate Mark II, um, which is kitted out for war. So I'm hoping to take a lot of components off of that. There you go. Uh, I got a crate Mark II kitted out for war, so I'm hoping to take a lot of components off of that. And I've gone and brought myself a chieftain because everyone's saying that that's the best thing to do. So, I've got myself a chieftain. Alright, so I'm going to get this sentinel. Uh, and then, basically they said that it's better to go and get the Gauss cannons. So this is my whole point on getting the Gauss cannons. Uh, it's behind this. No point trying to run away, my friend. You're gonna die. You have a half-baked fed assault ship. Oh, I've never thought about a fed assault ship. I don't have one of them. I used to have the drop ship. The drop ship was so good at mining, of all things. But we'll grab that. Why not? I'll do. And I think we are all done on that. Need to get destructible panels, but we'll come back and do them in just a second. Uh, I have salvation modified triple firing Gauss. And is that better than the Guardian Gauss one? I don't know. I can't say. I, I don't know too much about the salvation one, where how you get it or why you get it or whatever it may be. Um, I didn't have too much to do with that whole storyline with salvation. All right, back into inventory then. Good thing I got one of these on board. Just back off a little bit. What's getting this? It's guiding Gauss to fire three times in burst fire. Okay. So that's pretty substantial then. Each shot is lower damage in single fire, but you land all three, hits an high DPS. Did 
usually two of them, but I guess not on this occasion. Oh, it is. He's behind me. Or it might be. Unlucky! Let's get me some parts, thank you! You need a good standing with Faction Embu, no, I may be wrong, it was a while back. Uh, yeah, I haven't... I got loads of them. Um, I haven't done anything with that kind of thing, so I'm I am completely out of it. So like, when I was researching like how to build an AX fighter, um, everyone was saying, yeah, get the Chieftain, uh, go and get these Gauss, Gauss cannons, which I thought, yep, I'll go and do that. Um, uh, Sentinel weapon, yes, please. Thank you. Any more? Guardian totem, don't want that. Uh, Sentinel parts, yep, we'll take them. And so I was like, yep, yeah, I'm going to go do them. But then I realized I don't actually have. Um, I had, I think, pretty much everything for class one. And I got back. And I mistakenly thought that I had enough parts for class two. But I was actually looking at the parts for class one. So as it turns out, I needed some more parts. So I was just like, I was gutted. So we're on the hunt right now to go and do it. Uh, you pay each time you get a gun rather than paying the mats and blueprints once or not forever. Oh, okay. Okay. Looking at some guiding weapons. Yeah, indeed I am. 07 Commander Ig... Ig okay, I'm going to have to look at this one. Uh, Ignuk... Ignicus... Ig Ignicolus. Ignicolus. And yes, name butchering is what I do. Can't do it. Yeah, I've got loads of them. Excuse me a second while I cough my goods up. Thanks, COVID. Thank God for that. Iggy, I love you. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. Oh, my God. Oh, dear. Right. I'm glad, I'm glad that I could call you Iggy because, yeah, that was a mouthful for me. My good God. Uh, right. And... Not what I need again. Guardian power conduit. I've got loads of them. It's, ah, come on. So yes, uh, I'm, so I'm on the hunt for. I'm after the Gauss Gauss cannon. Uh, no Gauss. Yeah, Gauss cannon class two. I'm after that. Um, but it's just getting the just getting all the mats. I think I'm close to getting the mats. Oh come on. Yes. Technology component. Hello. This is exactly what I need. <coughs> Come on. Right. There should be another one for me to <coughs> do the other side. Excuse me, guys. And how are you finding gear? How are you finding them? Because, like... Don't need you. Got power cells. Okay. Come on, back over here. There's no one over here. We'll go and get this one. <coughs> Can we ask how to be anything higher than the Cyclone? Now, you see, I do not know the difference between any of the Bargoids. Now, I've been like... That's what I'm after. I've been like a conscientious objector. I'm like, you know, the Bargoids, all they do is they pull me out of hyperspace and they scan me. And that's it. And I thought, well, if that's all they're going to do... Put me out of hyperspace, scan me, then meh, you know, not bothered. So I've never, never thrown shapes and thrown hands with a uh, with a Fargoid. So I don't even know what they what they look like uh, mainly, you know. Uh, I can't tell the difference between a Medusa, a Cyclops, a Scout. I'm guessing I think the Scouts are the smaller ones, so I'm guessing they're going to be relatively easy to diagnose and find out. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Um, so, if I can do this, come on, I think if we get one more technology component, I think that'll be enough. 
Where is it? It's there. No! You're all power cells. That's not what I need. Conduit. Power cell. Conduit. Ah! Cyclox passes reduce a hybrid. That's the lowest to highest difficulty. That is office variant. Scouts are fine to combat, but easier to kill. We have AX multi cannons, which I believe not armed. Never fought that one. Okay. Well, I need to. You have to, guys have to help me, like, because we're gonna we're gonna get back to civilization and go and spec the ship up. I've got it kind of semi specced Um. So you guys are gonna have to help me, and then. You have to give me some guidance, because obviously I, I don't want to go in and start fighting a, a Medusa, like, straight out of the box. I, I need to start off with something relatively simple. No. I hate it when that happens, but no, anyway. No. So, you're a power cell. You're a power conduit. And I think the one that fell was also a power cell. So, none of you. Which sucks. What ship am I using? Um, it's going to be a chieftain. So, I've kind of spec'd out a chieftain. I, I've got a crate Mark II, which I've kind of fitted out for fighting them for war anyway, but I've not, um, I've not, I've, it's, I've never done AX combat, so, right, I need to find out whether I've got enough now, because I don't think there's any more, uh, things for me to shoot at to get what I need, if not, we may have to reset the instance, and do it all again. Can't see any more anywhere. All right, so let's get back in. Give me a second, guys. I'm gonna cough. It. Oh my good god, honestly. <clears throat> yes, this tickly cough. This lovely tickly cough. It's killing me in a minute. Anyway, how is everybody? Did you have a nice Christmas? What did Santa bring you nice? What did Santa come and leave under your tree? Right, guiding technology component. That's the thing that I think we needed. I think I've got enough now. You were here yesterday helping another stream. Haha, <laughs> nice one. Well done. Uh, you can maybe do combat with support from players, NPCs, station guns. Uh, Jane Stark in Tugli's system has good spawning around it. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, we can do that. I'll have to definitely have a look at that. Thank you for that. Because um, I have no idea whatsoever. Okay, so. Let me just take a quick look on interwebs. Because I'm pretty sure I've got everything what I need now. To do the class 2 Gauss ta Cannon. Uh, Gauss Cannon class 2. Uh, let's have a look. Guardian Gauss Cannon. Class 2. So, one weapon blueprint. Check. We've actually got a two of them, I think. Or maybe even three. Uh, 18 Guardian Power Cells. Right, let's get the recipe up. And let's get that up. Okay. So, 18 Guardian Power Cells. Yeah, just a few. 234 of them. Check. Uh, 20 Technology Components. we got 23. Check. Uh, 15 Manganese. Now, this is where we're going to struggle now. So, Manganese and Magnetic Emitter Coils, I don't have. But obviously, I don't get them from Guardian sites. I need to get back to habited space for that. Um, right, okay. So, that gives me a location for the emitter core. So, I need to go to Steiner Platform in the Asaga system. So, we'll do that. Uh, and Manganese. We'll go to a raw material trader and go and get that. So that's fine. So none of them I'm particularly bothered about. So we've got enough. <clears throat> Do I have other materials to trade? Yeah, yeah. Um, 
And a partridge in a pear tree. You are not wrong, AY buff. Not wrong. Right. Uh, I can't reach my pedals. I'll move too far up my seat. I can't reach my pedals. Right. Yes, I'm using pedals to control my SRV, just like a car. It's cool. Right, so. I need to head back towards the ASP and get out of here. Stop. Thank you. Thank you. And board. So yeah, so I'm going to trade some more materials, get some, because uh, I did a whole load of mat gathering before. Um, so, um, <laughs> uh, I done a whole load of mat, uh, mat gathering before, so I could like, um, upgrade all my weapons and everything for normal combat. And then obviously this all broke out. So just like, got to get in on the AX stuff now. Um, right. Open galaxy map. Open galaxy map. Galaxy map. Yeah. Uh, have I done the engineer grind too? I haven't unlocked them all. I've done most of them, but not them all. So I'm like, meh. Uh, there you go. Right, let's get back to here. Thank you. Let's go. It's all about hit points uh, rather than resistance. Find heavy duty armor and all reinforcements with D plate. Oh, not that one, sorry. That one. Engage jump. So, when you want heavy duty on armor and all reinforcements with D plate, okay. So this is what we're going to have to go back and look at. I can't remember what I've got for that kind of thing. Plus, I've seen some I've seen some of the AX combat builds that actually have um, uh, some module reinforcements as well as some that have got hull reinforcements. So it's just like, well, what, what do I do? You know, which one do I need? It is safe to right then, folks. I don't think that you need to see 25 to 30 minutes of me jumping from system to system to system to system. I think you've got better things to do. And so do I. So let's speed this up. In fact, let's really speed this thing up. Now hear this! Ludicrous speed! Sir, and you better buckle up! Ah, uh, buckle this! Ludicrous speed! Go! What was that? Spaceball One. They've gone to plaid. There are. It may look like I know what I'm doing. System. Or maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> but I don't know what I'm doing. So this is where I'm relying on you guys. So please, uh, yeah. Uh, no, you know, some streamers sit there and go, "Oh, don't back it. Don't backseat game. Let me figure it all out." No, backseat game. Give it to me. Bring me the backseatness. I need it. I know everyone's got opinions, and that's fine. Uh, we shall go through whatever I've got. Uh, I do want to try and get into some AX combat. I am kind of nervous about it. Obviously, I haven't played Elite in a while, so I'm kind of rusty, but I'm, I'm you know, I'm kind of nervous about doing this, but we'll get there. We shall get there. VR Gaming fan, welcome aboard, young man. Welcome aboard. What ship? I'm going to go for the chief. Oh, well, I brought a chieftain, and I've kind of half spec'd it, kind of half half spec'd it. Um... So I have a chieftain. This is why I'm working out of Jameson Memorial. This isn't my home system. Um, I'm working out of here at the minute, just so I've got access to everything that I need, and obviously the uh, raw, the material trader for the guiding technology is here as well. So this is why I'm working out of Jameson's Memorial. So hopefully, we'll get this chieftain up and running. And we'll see what happens. I'm a complete noob at AX combat because, like, for me, the Fargoids, I don't have a problem with them. They hyperdict me, they scan me, 
ship goes off, ship goes back on again, they fly away, I fly away, and everyone's happy. So I've never fired a shot at a Fargoid before, so this is all new. If you post a link, it'll, it'll time me up, but I'll um, let it go, so yeah, post away. I should be able to unmod it. Hold on. Yeah, do this, do that. There you go. Is that the one? Welcome to the station, Commander. Please fly safely. Request docking. Request sent. With the green docking lights to your right, you'll land in the pad will be. Well, there was some wine down here. When it appears to have been drunk. Well, not by me, it wasn't Cecil. Below you, at the front of the station. Well, you're a computer, so you definitely can't do that. Um, right. There we go, just drift around a little bit. Your approach is good. Maintain current course. Yeah, let's go through the toast rack, yep. Yeah. Scan me. Scan me, baby! All night long. What well, pad we on? Number 41. Uh... Oh, okay. It's unusual. Usually I'm at the bottom of the thing. Uh, deploy landing gear. Deploy landing gear. Look, your landing gear is already there. Landing gear deployed. There we go, we are down. I've got the ship uh, ready to go. For I use a ship, it uses modified serious heat sinks, I have no idea what they are. And the modified Guardian nice. plasma chargers. Uh, it's for fighting AX around stations where you can dock and repair, so no repair gear installed. Okay. He's unlocking the gal, so I don't think he has access to the Guardian Hall reinforcements. Probably not. Let's have a look, see what we got. Right, first things first, let's go and unlock the Guardian Gauss cannons because this has been two days worth of work to get to this point. So let's get that done. Oh, my PC is struggling in a minute. Okay, Guardian Gauss cannons. Class 2, fixed. Unlock the hard points. Hard points unlocked. Now available to purchase for outfitting. Yes. Right. So. I don't have the plasma charger class 2. I do have the gu guardian shard cannons. And I do have the class 3 plasma chargers though. So I do have plasma chargers. I do have shard cannons. And now I do have gauss cannons as well. So I've got all three of them. I don't have the whole reinforcements and the module reinforcements. What do we need for these? Oh, we only need... Well, we got one of them. We got a lot of that. We got a lot of that. We got a lot of that. We got reinforced mounting plates. That's what we need. I'm guessing there are going to be... It's not going to... Uh, yeah, so I think we could get that if we wanted to. Right. Now we've unlocked it. Let's just go ahead and go and get into it. Alright then folks, that is the end of this first part of this little mini-series. Uh, we've been to the Guardian base, we've went and got the blueprints that we needed, we've also gone out there and uh, got all the parts that we've needed, we've headed all the way back to the bubble again now, and we're actually in a position to go ahead and look those Gauss cannons, get them fitted to the uh, new ship that we're buying to go and do this AX combat, which will be the Chieftain. Uh, so in the next video we are going to spec the chieftain out and actually get out there and try and squat some bugs however I do believe that uh, I'm going to be seeing the rebuy screen <laughs> quite a lot uh, so with that thank you very much for uh, checking out this video and I hope to see you in part two I am effing Friday and I am effing out of here thanks folks <laughs>